Well, it's the start of spring and the Ward Museum of Wildfall Art in Salisbury is marking the new season with a watercolor art and spring style luncheon. And joining us today to talk about the event are Renee Fredrickson, the museum's community resource director and award winning artist and ward volunteer Jan Bain. Good Thank morning. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. It's so exciting. <laughs> so first of all, for those who may not are not familiar with the Ward Museum, tell us about it. Well, the Ward Museum is really an associate of Salisbury University. We're located, as indicated, right here in Salisbury at the intersection of Beagland Park Drive and South Shoemaker Drive. Uh, we have all kinds of exhibits, all kinds of programs and events that happen both on and off campus, and we're very proud of the expansions being made. Yeah. Now, it's named, the museum is named after the Ward Brothers. Tell us a little bit about the Ward Brothers. Lim and Steve Ward grew up in uh, Crisfield, Maryland, as they call themselves two dumb old country boys, but dumb anything but. Uh, they were profound artists. They represented many, many carvers at the time across the Delmarva Peninsula. But they stood out and uh, their unique quality in carving and the unique posture and personality that they gave to their carvings was recognized early on as early on and finally encouraged by 1948 to enter national competition. Mm -hmm. And it was that national competi competition that really announced their work in a broad way around the world. Yeah. And we celebrate that art, the nature behind it, and our traditions at the Ward Museum in their name. Yeah, now the upcoming watercolor art and spring style luncheon is actually a fundraiser. Tell us about that. It is a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser whose idea was born out of our volunteers. The volunteers are organizing it and as mentioned earlier, Jan Bain, award volunteer and watercolor artist will be featured there. It's a combination of partnerships um, bringing together funds that offer affordable programs across the peninsula. The partners in this endeavor are the ward volunteers. It's the uh, uh, lovely hostess here <laughs> who's provided our lunch and peaches and cream ah. and Jan Bain our artist. Yeah the cupcakes are from peaches and cream. Absolutely yeah. and this all makes it possible so that every ticket sold directly benefits the Ward Museum. Now Jan you brought some of your watercolors in to show us. Can I you did. tell us a little bit about them? Well I uh, have uh, come to Delaware and the seashore with the wonderful marshes and beaches and these sunsets and when Renee asked me to uh, to uh, bring my paintings and to do a demonstration I was rather intimidated <laughs> because my two wonderful teachers are going to be there but this is trying to capture a moment like if you're walking on the beach or mm -hmm. being drawn in by the sunset and and it's meant to refresh your life and your poetry in your soul yeah. and sometime I get it right and sometime it's just mud you could plant your spring garden in it you know <laughs> <laughs> well but, I think you get it all right and yeah. it looks beautiful and Thank we actually you. have a, a work that you did after watching our news and you saw a news watcher photo I did yesterday morning I ha had There's no no um, paintings without uh, glass on them and I watched WBOC faithfully every morning <laughs> and right before me was this pic picture of Chincoteague Island, mm -hmm. beautiful bridge, and I hope I captured some of the beautiful luminous colors of this, uh, of of that moment and invited you into our beautiful area here. I think here. you did. I think you, you succeeded. Now uh, let's go over the uh, details of the event one more time. Uh, the watercolor art and spring style luncheon uh, starts at 11.30. This is Thursday, right? It is this Thursday and there are a few tickets left so we encourage people to call us at the museum or check out the site at WBOC. Right. Our number at the museum is 410 uh, 742 4988 
Extension 109. 109. And of course, contacting WBOC as well. All right. Thank you so much, Renee and Jan, for joining us Thank this you. afternoon. And if you would like more information on the Ward Museum of Wildfall Art, including details of the upcoming watercolor art and spring sale luncheon, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, we'll talk with the owner of Georgetown Health Mart Pharmacy. He'll tell us why his pharmacy is so much more than medicine and why you should stop in and check it out. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.